well, I was about to say, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, let's see how many orbs there are, but uh, yeah, that's quite a bit, isn't it? And just to let you know, this is probably my third time trying to make this video because every time I try to make this, I always forget and leave something out that I wanted to say, which I'll probably do again this time. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, anyhow, what I was going to say, if I happen to leave something out, then I'm just going to leave it as is, and then I'll just have to add it in next time, because this is the last time I'm making this. Um, I was not going to make another video about orbs, because of how many times I've, you know, shown them in the past, and... By the way, I am in my downstairs bathroom with the door closed, the light turned out. Because I can see them better that way. Or, you know, they can be seen better that way, should I say. And let me just say this for anybody who may uh, not have seen any of my content, content in the past. Um, what you're seeing here is not um, any kind of, you know, like like lint from clothing or rugs or carpet or fibers from clothing whatever anything like that it's not dust flying around it's not it's nothing like that okay i don't have little tiny bugs flying around it's none of that these are orbs and for anybody that may not know what orbs are um you may want to look into it um now, I cannot, I literally cannot say this about everybody because I have no way of knowing this, but I'm just gonna, now this is me assuming, okay? I'll always say if I'm assuming or whatever, this is me assuming. Because of the experiment that I did recently in someone's home, when they said, I do not have these in my home, oh no, I do not, and I said, well, I said, you may not. And I said, because I don't, I have no idea if everybody has these, you know, in their home. And I said, but the only way to know really, uh, you know, I said, I can see them with my naked eye, but I see them better using my phone. I said, you know, do you mind if I film in your home and just see? And they said, no, I don't mind, but I know you're not going to find any. I said, well, like I said, I may not, there may not be any in here, but let's just find out. So I went to filming and now granted there wasn't as many in their home as we're seeing here but the second I turned on the video and started filming there they were and um so I filmed for like a minute and 15 seconds something like that went back to them and I said well you got orbs in your home and they said what let me see <laughs> so I showed them and they you know they couldn't believe it they believed it but you know what I'm saying so with that being said um you know, I think these are probably pretty much in everybody's home. But again, I can't vouch for that. There may be some homes who doesn't have near this many. Um, in the beginning, when I started seeing them, I was not seeing near as many as I'm seeing now. As the days go by, they're getting more and more and more and more. And here's the reason why I decided to talk about this. There's actually two reasons. Um, I'm going to start with number one, and I'm not going to just sit down here in this room because y'all are going to be like, I'm getting tired of looking at that bathroom cabinet, <laughs> and I can't, you know, I'll move out to the living room because they're, it doesn't matter, they're everywhere, but anyway, um, I am, because of the amount of posts that I have seen now, and it's not, I'm not just talking about one, two, three, uh, there's been so many of them that I've just it's made me realize how big of a problem this is and what people are going through what um what it's caught you know the, the the issues it's causing so there there's that you know and and these are people that don't know one another you know they're in, like we're all in private groups I mean we know each other because we've been in the groups for years but I'm just saying we don't know each other personally you know like we're not friends from school or anything like that but these are people from all around the world who are sharing their experiences uh posting what they're seeing 
um, you know, being kind of scared to ask questions because they're, they've had so many people call them crazy. They get to, you know, get to a point where they're scared to talk about it anymore. But, you know, you can, they're very timidly asking, uh, they'll say things like, uh, you know, I really hate to ask this, but is, is anybody like seeing things that just seems odd or are you hearing things or is things happening that that just don't, it's not normal? And then you got others who just blurt it all out, you know. But then you got those who are really reserved because they're scared of, um, they're going to be judged, they're going to be called names or whatever. And it affects everybody differently, okay. I, I can't tell you what all I've been called. I've been called everything. You know, I'm crazy, mental, I need to seek help and all that. And, uh, you know, and then I'm sometimes a mass. <laughs> This always cracks me up. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody post asking me, what are you filming out of a potato? <laughs> and um, I responded back one time. I said, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. I said, where have you been? Have you not heard about the potato phone? It's like the newest, you know, the, the newest phone out there. And it's the, the, the best there is. I said, where have you been living, under a rock? <laughs> I said, well, you must know about it because you just asked me. I'll just say still silly stuff like that because I, I, you know, you got some people who just make silly little comments like that, but then you got other ones who are just downright rude, just downright, downright ugly. And um, now, me personally, it does not affect me. I don't let it get to me. I don't because. Number one, I know what's going on in this world. This world is just filled with crazy wickedness. It is. But not only that, you know, I look at myself and although um, I would never ever get on somebody's post or whatever and start saying, calling them names or, or I just don't do that. That's, that's not a part of me. I, I don't believe in that. I am the type of person I feel like sowing love, you know, um, uh, being kind and things like that. And that goes a long way. But you got those who just, they just don't have kind, a lot of kindness in them, if any at all. Um, you know, and if they've never gone through this either, then, then um, and never seen it, then it's very easy for them to write it off as you're crazy. That Because uh, even though they're seeing it, they, their mind is not grasping what, you know, they, they, they don't want to acknowledge it. I think it's the, the issue with some people. Because this is, it's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> this whole thing is crazy. Um, let's see, hold on. Yeah, I still, I'm still seeing a lot. I'm going to move out here in the living room in a minute, but. Because they kind of died down when I first turned this thing on. It was like, yeah, they, that was a lot. But anyway, you know, and but what what is so sad to me is I'm seeing not a lot, but I have seen enough to where it made me start thinking, I don't know, maybe should I maybe make another video and talk more about this? I don't know. Well, as time went on, I just I decided to go go ahead and do it because of some new stuff that began happening here. Um, it has uh, progressed and I think, I, you know, it needs to be talked about. And so, anyway, but the post I was talking about, some of the comments that I saw, or, or the post that I saw was people, it, it's turning dark. It, 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 you know, they've had everybody walk out of their life um, because of this, this, all of this that's going on. Um, you know, and I'm seeing them say things like, I never asked for this. I, this is not what I want for my life. I, it's not like I just invited this stuff in they said, I have no control over this, you know, and I'm not making this up. And when I try to show people, they, they call me crazy. And then, then I'm, I, I'm just left here all alone. Well, I'm not going to go into my story. I'm not, I'm only going to touch on this very briefly, but I can, I can sympathize with that because this can be a very lonely road to walk. Um, now I will say this prior to four years ago, um, before I began seeing everything, had I have seen people posting about this kind of stuff, although I, again, I'm not going to judge people. I, you know, I'm not going to get on there and call them crazy, but without me personally going through it and seeing it, I may have looked at that and said, that, that 
it's got to be something else. Now, other than what they're saying it is, it's got to be. Because I've always believed in the demonic realm, the spiritual realm. I've always believed in that. However, I didn't realize the depth of it. I never really thought about it, to be honest with you. I didn't. I just, that's just one of those things I never, I'm, you know, I mean, maybe a little bit here and there, but not the depth of it. I No. And so anyway, with that being said, you know, I can understand why people, there's people out there, which is actually the overwhelming majority, who doesn't see this stuff. And when you try to post it or, you know, show it or whatever, um, they just have an, a whole array of thoughts, you know, and are judging you and things like that. Um, but I, you know, I, th this is something that you don't, or I, I can't speak for everybody because I know there are people who are into witchcraft, new age, they're doing all kind of stuff and, and that definitely will invite the demons in. Oh, that'll definitely do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about, you know, there's others that are not into any of that, any of that. And they're still going through this. So, um, you know, but, but. I'm seeing that one of the, there, there was something that I saw not long ago and that it just about broke my heart. And I said, oh my gosh, I had to jump on there. And I said, oh no, 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 don't give it this, don't give them this power. Don't do it. You got to fight against this. I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Because y'all, this is, <laughs> I've been going through this for four years, seven days a week, 24 seven, day after day after day after day. Day after night after night, it never ends. They don't let up. It's not like they just, you know, oh, we're getting tired. We're going to go take a nap. Or, I don't know, we've been bugging her long enough. You know, I, I, it seems to be stressing her out a little bit. Why don't we just give her a break for a little while and go on vacation? Then we'll come back and, you know, start it up again. And, you know, it's just, it, it, mm -mm, it don't work that way. It doesn't. And so, anyway. But then, you know, the other reason... Oh, let me let me say this before I jump to the next thing. The one thing that really bothered me, I saw them saying, you know, all I wanted was validation. I'm not lying, but I'm being called a liar and I'm being called crazy. And I have so much proof. Now, this was not, this is not me. This is coming from somebody else. Uh, them posting this, saying this on their post. Um and showing tons of pictures, you know, saying, do y'all see this? You know, and they're showing weird stuff going on in their house. They said, do y'all see anything here or am I seeing things? Because I want to know if if, if y'all don't see this, then maybe I do need to seek help. And then they said, because y'all, this is this is the part that really got me. They said, I, I have lost everything and everybody that I love. They said, everybody that I thought would believe me and would never leave me because, you know, we just loved each other. They said they left me, and not only that, um, they they said it's affected me so much that I can't. I don't think I can go on, and I'm I'm considering S. And it, you know what the S word is, right? I'm not gonna say it, but it's it's when people are having dark thoughts about themselves and they don't feel like they can go on anymore, and they start thinking about that S word. So I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That about broke my heart, and that's when I had to jump in. I said, "Don't, no, you can't do this. You gotta, you gotta realize this is much bigger. There's a much bigger thing going on here than you realize. This is not about. <laughs> there's just so much, and this is, you know, I, I, kind of explained to him. I said, "This is the demonic realm, literally, and you cannot give it that power. You can't. You have got to fight against it." And so, um. There's there, that's num that's one reason why I decided to talk about this again. I'm fixing to go out in my room. I think yeah. Hold on just a second. Oh yeah. All right. Well, different scenery, so I'll just come out here for a minute. But anyway, the se here's the second reason why I decided because even though the overwhelming majority they may not be seeing any of this right now, and they may have serious doubts when they do see people's posts that are trying to show this, you know, they may be, are you maybe one of those ones who are thinking, it kind of looks like what they're saying, but no, it's, it, it's got to be something else. It's got, it's got to be the artifacts from the camera. It's got to be 
a glare. It's got to be, I don't know, is it smoke in their home? It's got to be this or that or this or that. You know, so, but here's the thing. As time goes on, and you can mark my word on this, these demonic manifestations are going to continue to get worse. Okay, and I can't, here lately, there's been some things that's been going on in my home that if I did not have Jesus Christ in my life, I will guarantee you right here and now, there's no way I could get through this. I live by myself. I deal with this day in, day out, day out, every day, every night. It never lets up. And they've gotten to the point now where they're like, nothing we're doing is working. We've tried this. We've tried that. And what is up with this woman? We, you know, why is she not fearing us? I don't know. Why don't we ramp it up a little bit? And that's exactly what they've done. <laughs> that stuff that you saw, or whoever saw it, because I did have maybe a, a few people. I think there was one person on TikTok and one person from YouTube that asked me if that was smoke in my home. No, that's not smoke in my home. I don't know. I don't smoke. I quit smoking over. I, I quit smoking back in 2012. I smoked for over 30 years. I quit cold, cold turkey. Um, I will say, however, I do vape. Okay. But that's not what that was. You weren't seeing vape. There was nothing going on in my house. I, that, that, no, that just appeared. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't from a candle. I don't have a fireplace. My stove wasn't going. It was no smoke whatsoever. It wasn't. So I'm, I just want to clarify that. Okay. Um, something. All right. When I, after I posted that, was it later that evening or was it the next night? I think it was the next evening, if I'm not mistaken. I saw something going on again. I said, okay, here we go again. So I took out my phone and I filmed. And when I went to view it, I said, what? I said, I know. I did not just see what I think I just saw. And I saw some stuff going on in that video that was not only disgusting, but extremely disturbing. And after I watched it the first time, I started questioning. I said, I, that, that cannot be what that was, was. I've got to watch this again. Because either I imagine that, or, or I don't know, I'm just over-exaggerating here. Or I'm going to look at it a little closer and find out, oh, okay, that's not what that was. So I looked at it again, I said, well, that does certainly appear what it is. And even after watching the second time, I had to go back again about two more times. I watched it about four times, because I, I <laughs> y'all must, I can't... <laughs> My, I don't even like talking about this. It, it, I don't. I don't. I, because I don't like giving this stuff any power. I don't. But at the same time, if you don't talk about it, you, that's giving it power too. <laughs> so, you know, I would rather just talk about it. Uh, after I saw all that, my stomach hurt so bad for, for um, the rest of the night to the point I could not go to sleep for a long time because of how disturbing disturbing it was and I, I, I'm almost reluctant to even say what happened because I, not, I, I, not that they would even hear this because they're probably not ever going to hear it but yeah I just don't want any it to cause any type of harm whatsoever and I'm not I'm, I'm talking about like psychologically you know mentally and stuff like that which I don't think it would they're probably even if they heard me talking about this they're going to say Oh my gosh, she's really crazy now. But um anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm going to talk about it cuz I think it's important. My father is deceased, okay? And me and my father were very close. I'm an only child. And me and my I, dad was very close. I'm I, you know, I'm not like a spoiled brat. They never you know, my dad never did that to me. Um but we did have a close relationship. We did. We were close. And I love my dad. <sighs> These things. <laughs> in my living room right here. Over there by that black. Well, no, no, no. Let me back up. This ottoman right here. 
it first began over there, kind of close to that couch. There was something that, that appeared there. And it started moving across there, okay? When it got to the ottoman, right in front of the, well, it's going right in front of the ottoman, right over there. It looked like a human appeared, okay? And I said, what is that? So I looked at it closer and I said, oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. You've literally got to be kidding me. Y'all, these things manifested into what looked like my dad. And it looked, it, this, this thing had on what looked like the clothes that, some of the clothes that my dad used to wear, including a jacket that he used to wear, same colors and everything. There was that, but that, it didn't in there. It did not in there. Oh no. So after that happened, then it, it shape shifted, changed, changed, changed it, ugh, changed into something else. Oh my gosh, this is equally, it, oh my, you know, whatever. It, it is, whatever. Mm. My son is very tall. He's very tall. And, you know, he's got a certain color hair. And his, you know, body, as is with all of us, his body shape's a certain way, all of that. So it went from being a manifested thing into looking like my dad into a manifested thing that looked like my son. And... It appeared over there, and well, my phone keeps going black. It, it appeared over there in front of that black ottoman, the black thing over there where my TV is. And then the next thing I know, it is sitting on the ottoman, sitting on the ottoman, staring at me. And the legs were moving around. You know, you could see the legs because it was moving the positions of its leg. But it didn't end there. It did not end there. <laughs> then... And I don't have any pets, and I don't know, I don't think my son does. He may, for what all I know, I don't know. But anyway, next to my son on that, no, 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 what am I, that, let me back up. Next to what they manifested into what looked like my son, that's what I meant to say. Right, sitting right next to that thing that looked like my son was some type of weird dog weird dog looking thing it, and it did it looked like a dog but it here's when these things i've always when i always but i've said many times before when demons manifest in anything and they can manifest themselves into anything almost anything they want be it things that look like humans animals birds marine life you know even objects okay but they are not the most high god you know satan said he wanted to be like the most high god right <laughs> Well, boy, does that ever make much more sense now. It does. A lot of stuff in the Bible makes a lot more sense to me now. It does. Since all this is happening, uh, there's st there's script certain scriptures that's just like, oh, wow, that just, oh, that has such a deeper meaning to me now. But anyway, anything that the Most High God creates is with absolute perfection. You look at it and you know what you're looking at. You know, there's there, no question about it. However, I've, all, you know, I've said that when these things manifest, there's always, you can know, when you look closer, you're like, you know, it's not a real human. It, it may appear, you know, it, it kind of looks like that and it appears to be that way. But when you look closer, it's like, oh, no, 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 that mm -mm, you can see it. Um, and, and as I've stated in the past also, when these demons are moving around, they can't hold their form. They're always, you, you can just see. And it's never just one demon. It's always many of them working together to manifest something. Um, you can see them just popping out everywhere when they're moving around. Um, I mean, it does happen when they're like assuming to be still. But when they're moving around, that's when you can see it everywhere. So anyway, I kid y'all not though, my stomach hurt. And it's not because I allow these things to upset me. I don't because I know what they're doing. I do. And so I'm... With, with me being able to know what they're doing, you know, I'm able, and, and well, here's number one, I have Jesus Christ in my heart, in my life, and if without that, I could not, no, 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 there's no way I could get through any of this, you guys, I, I would be, I would be about to lose it, I would, because it, it is, it, it, it's crazy, um, but anyway, you know, 
yeah, they, they, uh, you can always tell. I mean, when I look closer, I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Look, I mean, yes, it looks like a dog. That looks like my son. It, it you know, not exactly because it was not perfect, you know, but I could tell that's exactly what they were doing. And here's why. It is because of the hour we're living in. It is because as time goes on, these things are going to manifest themselves more, which is why I'm deciding to talk about this because mark my word, mark my word for the, all the ones who are denying this could ever be real. This, there's got to be more to it. No, no, no. That's not what it could be. I'm here to tell you, mark my word. You're going to remember the day when I'm telling, when I said this, everybody's going to see it. The, the manifestations are be going to become more and more and more. They hate all of God's creations, all of it, but they, they especially hate Christians. Anybody that loves the Most High God. Now, if you serve, you know, Buddha, uh, Islam, any of that, they could care less. But you, a Christian who who serves the Most High God, oh, no, mm -mm, they hate that. But here's their number one hatred. This is what they hate above anything else. Which makes perfect sense why they're bothering me so bad right now. This is going to explain it right here. For anybody that has had trouble, you know, maintaining your relationship with the Most High God, you know, you you get close to Him, then you walk away, then you maybe come back, then you walk away again, and you know, any, anything like that. Um, when when they see you coming back to Him, that's when they're they're like, "Oh, wait a minute, what do we have going on here?" What do we have? What is this woman doing? I know she is not doing what we think she's doing. Is she reading her Bible? Is she praying again? Well, well, well. Yeah, when they think they've had you, and then they realize, uh-oh, something's changing here. Well, it's not like they're just going to say, well, darn, we gave it our best go. But come on, fellas, it's time to pack it up and move on somewhere else. Oh, no. That's when they're going to say, all right, we've tried this and this and this and that. None of that worked. What in the world could we do next? Okay, we've been studying her for a long time because you do realize that's what these things do. Have you ever heard about the Watchers? The Watchers and the Book of Enoch? <sighs> yeah, the Watchers. Mm-hmm. Um, why are they called the watchers? Well, that's because they're watching us and they're studying us and they're examining us as in, okay, what does she like? Okay, she likes this and that. What upsets her? Okay, she gets upset when her animals die. She gets upset um, when people are ugly. She gets upset with all the evil in the world. Okay, and what are her, some of her likes? She Okay, she likes doing arts and crafts projects, um, okay, and they're making notes of all this, and because, and here's why, <laughs> because that's what they use against you, that is those things that they use against you, and so they know, you know, they know to up to a certain point, because they're not they are not perfect, never will be, like I said, but they, they're, they're not dummies. They know, um, they've been around a mighty long time and they have had a long, long time to study us and they've had, you know, Satan has had a long time to figure out his end time, you know, game plan here and we, yes, indeed, we are in the end times and it's ramping up very, very quickly, guys, it is and so th their attacks are becoming more aggressive have y'all ever heard of loose? I had never heard of the word. I was like, what in the world does that even mean? Loose? I've never even heard of that word. I said, and I had to look it up. I said, well, isn't this something? This is interesting. I said, it's just amazing how I keep finding all this information out. Because how? It's, I'm telling you, it's because I'm being led to it. I'm, I, don't give, I don't give myself any credit in it. It is because I kept praying for discernment over and over. In the word, it says, ask and you shall receive. And I received all right. Because prior to all that, me asking for discernment through prayer, uh, none of this was going on. I wasn't seeing any of this. I wasn't. It was after that. That's when I began seeing everything. But anyway, yeah, they use that stuff against you. 
the watchers, the, you know, all these demonic entities and stuff that, you know, all that. They are studying everybody to figure out what affects them. You know, what makes them sad? What makes them depressed? What makes them happy? Um, you know, and okay, because what they do is they take all that and if they see you, you know, you're, you have a close relationship with the Most High God or you've walked away and you're coming back. You know, that's when they try to fill your head with all that stuff to get you focused on that and pull you away again from the Most High God. Because their whole thing is they want their, their army as big as possible, you know, to fight against the Most High God. But not only that, they want to take as many people down to hell with them as they possibly can. They are going out fighting. That's what this is. This is the end game for them. And, I mean, all the stuff that I have been stumbling upon, I'm like, how in the world did I find this? Because it's not like I was looking for it. It's like just bam, there it was. And I said, you know, again, it's not just because it's just happening magically. It's because I know without a doubt, without a doubt, you guys, that I'm being led to that. It's, you know, because I've been asking for it. I, I don't want, I don't care about money. I don't care about worldly things. I don't know. I don't care about any of that. I just don't want to be deceived. I don't. I don't. That's that's all I'm asking for is is to be shown the truth, guide me, and to show give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. That was what I was praying for, and so, um, you know, I told somebody that one time, and they uh, they thought I was crazy. But here's the thing: the Most High God was the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He never changes. When I had said that to somebody that you know I'd been praying and that's when I began seeing stuff um they thought I needed to seek help and again this they'll probably never even hear this video of me talking here but if they just happen to in no way am I being ugly or rude you know I'm not and I'm not gonna give any hints as to who I'm even talking about for what all y'all know I could be talking about my neighbor <laughs> uh anybody but that is blasphemy, literally blasphemy against the Most High God. You are literally saying the Most High God who created everything, he don't have that kind of power anymore. What are you talking about? He may have done that in the old times, but he ain't doing that no more. <sighs> so the Most High God who created everything just lost his ability to do stuff like that. Just, just poof, it's gone. Just because that's what it's saying and that could not be further from the truth and the reason why i'm saying this because it's important to know ask and you shall receive i'm telling you you guys prior to four years ago to me praying that and it just ha it didn't just happen immediately it didn't but i had been praying for like two months um and i i humbled myself and i meant it in my heart you know and and, the, and jesus knew that and next thing i know i start seeing all this and then I'm not going to lie, in the beginning, I questioned it. I said, am I imagining things? I cannot, what is all this? And I said, I, I had a lot of questions. But then as time went on, I said, oh my gosh, what am I, what am I, why am I even questioning this? I know exactly where this is coming from. This is my prayer, prayers being answered. That's literally what this is. It, you know, and so... But anyway, as I, you know, as I stated, I think it's important to talk about this, number one, because if people are going through this and they're scared to talk about it or if they've had everybody walk out of their life, they think they have nobody. I'm here to tell you the more people is going through this than you realize and you're not alone in this. And you need to seriously, if you're having those bad thoughts, you need to pull yourself out of that, <laughs> and you can do it. If Hey, if I can get through this, now, I'm telling you, I have Jesus in my life. Without that, I could not get through this. I couldn't, but if I can get through this every day, day and night, 24-7, then you can too. You can. You have to fight against it, and you have to quit feeding yourself those negative. That is not, that's literally the demons working in your head, that's what it is and you have that's what you have to realize that it's not you who's talking to you it's those demons working talking to you trying to pull you down and but <laughs> that's what you have to realize right there and when you realize that's what it is then it all makes sense what everything that's going on 
um, you know, and, and why you're feeling certain ways and, and having certain thoughts and all that, because they're always up to no good. They, they are, there is nothing good about them whatsoever, whatsoever. <laughs> but, you know, the whole gist of this is, if you don't know Jesus, who's the only one that can save us, it's not Islam, it's not the Buddhist, it's not, it's none of that. It is Jesus Christ and him alone that saves us the Messiah who came down here on earth and died on the cross and rose again three days later simply for us. No other reason, there was no other reason why he did that. It was simply for our sins to be forgiven. <laughs> That's it. And he is not, he is a loving God, but he is not a pushy God. He's not, he's not forceful. He's not going to force us to do anything. He gives us the choice, us the option you know, he wants us to choose him because that's when the, the, the relationship, the love is authentic. When something is forced, it's not true. You know, it's not authentic is what I'm trying to say. When it is given to us freely and we choose it, that is when that relationship becomes real and the word becomes alive. It makes sense. Things that didn't used to make sense make sense now. You're being shown stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I would never know all this. There's no way I would know all this. Uh, Y'all, I can't tell you how amazing it is. And it's not about religion. Let me say this. Okay. I don't go to church. I quit doing that. All because most of the churches, if not pretty much all, are filled with false prophets, 501c preachers who are not teaching the full word of God. The whole congregations are being misled because these 501c preachers are teaching what the tickling ears want to hear. They, the preachers don't want to run their congregation away because, oh, no, we'll lose our money and we can't have that because we are false prophets. But our congregation don't know that. We have them full because that's how the demons work. That's how the devil works. Y'all, this is so big. This whole thing is so big. You're just like, it can be overwhelming at first when you start finding all this out. And I, I, I said this before, I'll say it again. I went through a literal grieving period when I found out everything. I because it was very, it was just overwhelming. I said, "Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is insane." And yes, I had moments of doubt. I went through that. I said, "No, this, this, this can't be. It can't be. This is, this is insane. There is no way this can be." But when you look into it, then it's. Very real, very real. Um, but one more thing I'm going to say. <laughs> All these videos I've made in the past, which I haven't made a whole lot, but I have made some, about showing these musicians and actors and dancers and all that, and certain stuff from the White House that were, you know, um, shapeshifters and things like that. Well, it meant something to me then. I, I knew what it was. However, now it, it, I, I've gained more uh, insight into what all this is. Again, it goes back to the watchers, <laughs> the, the fallen angels that fell with Lucifer when he fell like lightning from, you know, from heaven. And the 200 watchers fell and then all the hordes of demons <laughs> fell to the earth. And so... I'm just going to say, this is not me speculating. This is me finding finding answers everywhere. And it's not me just thinking, think, hmm, what can I look up? What can I look up? Oh, I know. I'll look up this. No, it don't work that way with me. It doesn't. I'm not built that way. Because I don't think of things like this, especially if I don't even know about it. I mean, how am I just going to magically think this thing up in my head and like, just, well, look at there. I just got lucky. There's the answer right there. I... No, it, it's because of, I'm telling you again, if asking you receive, and I, I asked and I received and I'm being shown all this because I want the truth. I don't want to be deceived. And um, so, you know, that's what this all is. But yeah, the, these, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm here to tell you and you're going to find this out one day too. You are 
for anybody who may doubt what I'm about to say, the day's coming, you're going to look back and say, well, that woman that I called crazy was actually right after all. <laughs> anyway, all these musicians, singers, who was in charge of the music in heaven? Who was that? Well, that was Lucifer himself. <laughs> so, you know, um, that when you think about it, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's not to some. <laughs> They're still going to deny it, but... Lucifer was in charge of music in heaven. He was cast out of heaven. So he knows all about music notes. He knows all about that. All of these musicians are not human, you guys. They're not. They're not human. <laughs> They're not. All these actors. Um, you know, the, the ones in big banking, big CEO. And I'm going to be cautious. I'm not going to go too deep into this. I'm not. But I'm just saying, j just use your head. The, the, the ones that are all famous and the billionaires and all that, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm -hmm. they're, they're not, they're not, they're, they are, um, you've heard of the Nephilim, right? That's the watchers that came to the earth and they, uh, went against God. They did. And they made it, you know, they married, um, human wives and they had children and their children were the Nephilim. Okay. So that bloodline, that bloodline is what you're, is what we're talking about here. It is, yes, it's all demon related. It is because although I'm sitting here saying watchers and, you know, the, the fallen angels and the, you know, Nephilim and all, it's all demons, you guys. All of it is. So anyway, with that being said, or demon related, you know, is what I'm saying. Because some, a lot of people say, well, the fallen angels are different from the demons. And, and yes, that is true. To, it is to a degree. It is. But it's all part of the demonic realm is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, and so wh why would that be then? You know, if you're saying the musicians aren't really human, if they're the Nephilim bloodline or whatever, why? What, what is the, what is going on here? <laughs> it all goes to the big end time game, game plan of Lucifer. I'm telling you, <clears throat> like I said, he is wanting to take as many people down to hell as possible. And he has had a long time to work this out. He has done it in such slow stages that everybody is so dumbed down to it. If they knew the actual truth of what is going on, they would have a heart attack or their minds. I don't know. Uh, some people would have a hard time with it. That's all I can say. It would affect them badly. But that's why I'm talking about it, because um, this is not me speculating, you guys. This is not me speculating. I'm not ever going to make a video if I'm speculating. And if I am speculating about something, I will always say it, you know. But I'm not speculating about this. The truth is out there. You just, if you look for it, there it is. You just got to know where to look, and there it is. They put so much truth in these movies. And the more stuff I stumbled upon, I was like, oh, here it is. They're literally telling this right to our face right here. Right here. Here it is. But I was looking at Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes, um, all of them a little bit closer the other day. And I said, oh, wow. Yeah, there it is. All right. And here Justin Bieber is saying he's, you know, um, after all this stuff happened to him, that he's um, uh, giving himself to Christ and all that. And I said, uh-uh, something, no, 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 no. I said, I ain't falling for that. I am not falling for that because that's yet another thing the demons do to fool people. And I looked a little bit close, more closely. I said, well, what do we have here? This is not Justin Bieber. This is a demon right here. It is. It's a demon. It's not Justin Bieber. And Shawn Mendes, my goodness, you went from being so cute to, whoops, there you are, a demon. And, yeah, nope, I'm not kidding. Their eyes black over. They shape shift. They turn into all kind of weird looking stuff. It's because they're not human. They're not. So, with that being said, um, yes, this is overwhelming. It's crazy. But I, it, it needs to be talked about because I'm telling you, you guys, this is going to ramp up as time goes on. And time is speeding up fast. Um, it says in the Bible, you know, in the end time, Satan will, um, um, you know, try to change the uh, times, laws, and seasons. And, yeah, you know, while that's happening... And, you know, I feel like uh, this is Satan's little season. A lot of people feel that way. I feel like the seals are going to be opening soon. A lot of people feel that way. When you look around at the whole big picture, I'm talking about every single thing going on, which are not not everyone knows about everything because they're so blind, so blind right now. But when you really, when you know, when you're awake and you know, this is the end times. And um, 
<laughs> you better be thinking about getting right with Jesus Christ. And again, it's not about religion. That ain't what it's about. It's about a close personal relationship. That's it. Um, you know, that's it. Um, and you're going to need that with what's coming. And I'm here to tell you in the Bible, it says men's hearts are going to fail them out of fear. That also makes a whole lot more sense to me now, has much more meaning to me now. <laughs> As with so many other scriptures, it's like, oh my word, I've been reading it all this time and just did not grasp it. But I do now. And it also says in the Bible, in the end times, that sons and daughters would be um, prophesying. You know, old men would be having visions, and or old men would be having dreams, and maidens will be having visions, and all this kind of stuff. And that's what's going on with so many people. When I jump around to different stuff, I'm like, they're talking about the same thing I am. How? I said, well, uh, that's crazy. I literally just talked about that. Now they're talking about it. And it just further validates it for me. I'm like, that, as if I needed more validation anyway, because I don't. But, you know, that's still, it, it just like, wow, this, wow. The most I got is so amazing. He's so amazing. And so, um, but yeah, just all I can say is, I mean, that's the only thing that can save us. Um you know, just to get to get covered under his blood, put on the whole whole armor of God, um, and all that. And because uh, I'm I'm here to tell you, you're gonna need him when <laughs> you're gonna need him. And for those that aren't seeing stuff yet, you're gonna see it. Uh, you're gonna be seeing stuff that's gonna it, it's gonna be wicked evil, you guys, and it's gonna be very scary looking stuff. It is. I don't know if any oars have been flying around. I want y'all to look at my door here. This is stuff that's all over my door. I want y'all, do y'all see that eye right there? Can y'all see that eye right there? You see, this is them. This is literally them. Um, they've manifested on my door is what it is. Because all that stuff right there, none of that should be on my door. It shouldn't. All these weird rainbow colors, that weird big eye. All this weird stuff. And the other night I was filming this door and orbs were flying. They were moving all around on the door. Flying up, flying down, flying sideways. <clears throat> it was crazy. But I'll, I'll just keep it focused here. We'll see if we can catch another orb moving around. Because it was. It was crazy. Um, but anyway, you know, what I'm saying is, is that all this right here. None of this should be on my door. My door is clean. None of that should be there. But it's there because it's them. And they keep putting weird demonic looking faces on there and all this stuff. They keep, it's just, wow. It's, they're, they're, they're trying to put fear into me is what it is. And I don't allow it, I, I don't allow it to affect me that way. I don't because I know what I'm dealing with here. And um, they, they hate me because I've come back to the Most High God. They literally hate me and they are trying to take me down is what this is. They are trying to take me down. And, um, you know, like I just said, what, I, uh, again, I don't even like talking about this because how disgusting it is and disturbing. But at the same time, yeah, they, they were like, well, pff, nothing we've done. Uh, may, um, I don't know. Let's try this. And sure enough, they manifested something that looked like my dad, looked like my tall son. Same hair color, same body shape, everything, same weird, you know, I'll say, say weird, that was not, I don't know why I was about to say that, probably because I'm thinking about these weird <laughs> demons, but no, my son's always dressed very nice, Um, the way this thing looked, I mean, it just, I was like, oh my gosh, they are trying so hard to, trying so hard to, <laughs> this is just insane. But yeah, it, it did. It it did make my stomach hurt though, because it was just, it disturbed me that bad. But it, but then I was I was like, oh my god, even this is giving them power. Even me having this reaction, I said, you know, no, all right, that's it. I'm pulling myself out of it. No, nope, that's it. I said, I know what y'all are doing, and um, that's that. So you may have made my stomach hurt for a little while because it disgusted me, but whatever, whatever. And that was that. Um. And then they especially hate it, too, when you are on to them. You know what's up. Oh, boy, they really hate that, too. So, you know, I've got two things working against me. Not not working against me, but you know what I'm saying. 
uh, two things that they're like, oh gosh, oh we we, got, we really got problems with this one. Because not only has she come back to the Most High God, but she knows about us and she knows what we're up to. And uh, I, not many people know about that, but she does. And um, oh boy, we have a deep hatred for her. We got to take her down. And these these things will harm you, you guys. Physically harm you. I've been physically harmed by these things to the point I almost had to go to the emergency room two times. And once was so severe, I was I was literally afraid. Um, but, you know, that was in the beginning kind of, of, not in the beginning, beginning. But it was at a stage where I didn't know everything I know now. Uh, now I don't allow them to put any kind of fear in me. But then, because of how bad I got hurt, I did have fear. And um, because of what happened to my head. Uh, I was slammed to the ground while I was awake in my chair at my computer and just out of nowhere was forcefully slammed to the ground, hit my head so hard and not the size between a baseball and a grapefruit come up on the right side of my head. My whole head became, um, well, the next morning when I looked at it um, and I looked at myself in the mirror is what I meant to say and I did not even recognize myself. If I didn't know that was me, I would not have known that was me. I would have said, who is, who in the world? I could not look at myself for a week and a half after that. I could not look into any mirror whatsoever because I could not stand to look at it. That's how bad it was. My whole head became deformed, especially on the right side because of how swollen my head got. My whole face was a blackish purple color. Um, My whole face, both eyes. And I didn't go anywhere. I didn't. I, I ran out of some food, but I, I. I was. I did not go anywhere. I didn't. I said. I. I don't, I'm not going anywhere. That's how bad it was. And then, um, you know, because I was slammed to the floor on the right side, um, my hip all the way to my kneecap. It was the same thing. Um, a blackish purple. And this was about two years ago that happened. Something like that. To this very day. My hip never did um, heal back up properly, and I've got a huge indention in it, and it's real dark. You know, the skin is real dark in that area, and I have uh, a lot of pain in that hip to this day. Um, yes, I should have gone to the emergency room. I should have, but I did not because I hate hospitals. I did not go. However, I told myself if I began developing, you know, uh, uh, symptoms of a concussion or anything like that, then I would go. Um, but I did not go to the hospital all right next time was here in this home y'all this has happened to me so many times i've lost count i'm only given two accounts of the worst times that's you know it's happened and it's not just being sitting in a chair i've been standing up and all of a sudden i'm on the ground but i was sitting here in this new home at my dining room table I had just eaten and i was about to get busy on some of my diy art projects when all of a sudden you know um now, I didn't know this at first. But you'll, I'll explain what, what I mean. Um, I was slammed to the ground, but but it was not till 24 hours later that I would figure out everything. Because what happened was I was slammed to the ground and, and um, had, uh, well, I'll bet, let, me, let me finish this. Um, wasn't, you know, I, I guess I hit my head just right. I don't know. But I was knocked unconscious for 24 hours straight and nobody knew about it because I live alone. Nobody knew about it. I lay out here on my floor for 24 hours, knocked out cold. And when I came to, I was very confused because I was like, what am I doing on the floor? And I, nothing made sense. I was freezing because I'd been laying there for 24 hours without a blanket on the cold floor. You know, so I was freezing. Um, I, when I tried to get up, I could barely get up because I was hurt. And I was like, what? I don't even, what is, no, oh my, what in the world happened? Because I wasn't, you know, I, nothing was, I, I just wasn't making sense yet. I'd been knocked unconscious for 24 hours, so I, my, my brain wasn't working yet, you know. And I was so confused. Nothing was making sense. So, um, anyway, slowly but surely, I was able to turn myself around, you know, and, and get up off the floor. And then I saw all the blood on the floor. I said, oh my God. God, I said, what? So I started looking around my body and, you know, couldn't see anything. Then I put my head to my head and felt felt stuff in my hair. I said, oh, that must... And then I felt the big knot. What had happened was I got metal... I had metal bruts in my hair and one jabbed into my head real bad. You know, that's what caused all the bleeding. And, you know, you can... 
hurt your head just kind of minor and you'll bleed a lot from your head because of how thin the skin and stuff is so anyway um but yeah i i mean i had to backtrack on everything i had to uh, okay when did i eat last what, what was the day uh what you know i had to literally think things out and figure out uh, and then it all made sense dawn to me i said i've been out for 24 hours and that's the first time that has ever happened so i'm gonna end this um you know i've had somebody say you need to get a priest at your house you do and and, and I, I i appreciate everybody saying this i do and i've talked to my pastor about this okay i have but this is literally spiritual warfare that's going on i've come back to the most high god they are fighting against it they hate it they that it's a battle that's what it is this is the spiritual war, uh realm at work you guys so that's why I'm making this, I'm talking about it to bring awareness, because in case anybody starts going through weird stuff, you know, you'll say, oh, wait, I heard her video. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? This is why. And also to expose the darkness, because I'm, we're, that's what we're supposed to do, you guys. But number one, above all, all <laughs> for anybody that don't know Jesus, accept him into your heart. I'm telling you, you guys, you're going to need him with the stuff coming. You're not going to be able to get through this stuff without him. I'm telling you now. And also, that's the only thing that can save us. And nothing in this world will fill a void like Jesus Christ can. Nothing. There's nothing in this world that can give you love and happiness and, and just give you the wholeness and make you feel just, I can't even describe it. It's so beyond awesome. I can't describe it. It's a personal relationship. He said, ask and you will receive. And he means it, you guys. All right, I'm going. If I think of anything else, I'll let y'all know. But look, look at those two lights down there. See, some, you see that? You do y'all see that thing down there? Yeah, that's new. Oh look, see now it's fading away. Did y'all see that it faded? Oh wait, there it is again. See that's that's a mm hmm. Yeah, it disappeared again. But that is that's <laughs> stuff keeps manifesting all in my house. But it is what it is. I'm not afraid of it. Because I know what's going on. Alright you guys, I'm going. Y'all take care, y'all be safe. And I love you guys and God bless. Bye.